Do you want to nail all the focus every single time with your Panasonic camera? Just use the app, that's right. You nail it every time, I'll show you the way. And boom, you see me with my main camera. Now I'm really bright. Sorry guys, I'm gonna move back. There you go, I think I connect to my home Wi-Fi. I connected my home Wi-Fi, that's why it didn't work. When you do the press the record, okay? You don't want to do the full take. And uh, and found out that yeah, you're not recording. So now with the uh gotta use the app, right? Before you use the app, you gotta download the app from the uh, app store, uh, Apple uh, Apple Store or Google. Uh, it works in both Android and iOS device. Okay, so that's the first thing you do. Uh, you want to do that first, okay? After that, you can fire it up your Android or your app. In your, I use an iPad right here, but uh, you can use any mobile device. They are very similar in in both scenario, so you don't have to worry about if I, if this uh, is if you are an Android user or an iOS user. Okay, so let me fire up the Panasonic app. Boom! It's like that, right? Uh, let's try to search for a camera, but the camera right now is uh, filming me. <laughs> That's no good, right? Uh, what I do, uh, I I will do a screenshot with this with the iPad. So I'll show you guys the process. If it doesn't work, I will do another take. Okay. So I go go through the whole process right now. It says searching for a camera, but the camera is right now. Uh, recording me, so I'll do that. You need to turn on the Wi-Fi. Okay, your camera in the box is the function button one here. is dedicated to Wi-Fi connection. So do that. Press on to that. Okay, and we'll take you to this function. Okay, so you make a new connection. You say yes. Remote shooting and view. Now they will ask you for a QR code right there, right? Okay, that's my GS4 smartphone, all that stuff. So let me go back to my app. All right. I want to use QR code with this function. Uh, so, uh, the first thing you want to do is use the QR code to connect the, to the camera to your mobile device. So that's how I do that first. If it's failed, go to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Let me take a photo. To make it easy for yourself, just uh, there's a plus button on the camera. So zoom in easier, like that. The iPad is not, uh, you know, not the best at the uh, autofocus. It's the... Uh... There you go. Allow. Yes, uh, the, the camera the iPad failed to connect. Uh, I didn't have time to sort it out yet, but usually what I use is an Android device and it works just fine. So let me show you, let me fire up the, uh, the app in the camera. There you go, I think I connect to my home Wi-Fi. I connect to my home Wi-Fi, that's why it didn't work. Easy fix, eh? Hey, now you know what's the problem with it. Okay, make sure your your camera does not connect to the wi home Wi-Fi. Okay, that's number one. Okay, now you know something. Now we have the app on right now, but I can't show you. So I'm gonna have to show you how I remote control from here using two camera. <laughs> Gotta be funny. If I look down, uh, excuse me, okay? So I'm recording this with my 
app. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Let's turn it around. I'm supposed to uh, record this in my iPad, so it's easier for you guys to look, yeah, but uh, no, I couldn't do it, okay. So what you do, you go to remote operation, right there. And boom, you see me with my main camera, you see there, but I haven't recorded yet, okay. So when I do, if we do, pinpoint yourself, now you're in focus. I have uh, focus peaking on, and now that's, that's good enough, okay. Now let me start record. Now it's recording, okay, of me, hi. Yeah, but uh, let me talk to you about the next part of how we use this uh, iPad. How, how we use this app, okay, that's the main thing. Uh, as you can see, it's one of the best monotone device, okay. If you can use it on an iPad, it's bigger, but I use it on the, the phone right here. Right here, I'm using it on the phone, right? And uh, yeah, it's another screen that I can look at. I don't have to use the flip out screen on my phone, on my camera, I mean. Because you know, it's, I'm far away, I'm probably like two meters away from the camera. The flip out screen, what I found was like, is uh, usually I look to the, the right, to the last screen mainly, and I don't look to the camera, straight to the camera. So if I do a headshot like this, right, I look straight to the camera, it's more connection with you guys, okay? But uh, you know, when I have a flip out screen, I, I don't do that. So that's why I use the app as a monitoring device. Uh, and I can position myself like like this, okay? Huh. I'm looking down here, so I know what I'm doing. But look up, I'm in. Look to you guys, okay? So right now, it's, uh, it's uh, the iPad is not a camera that's recording. Uh, that's recording this. So hopefully, single finger cross. Uh, that's I have a, a lot of footage for you guys. Now the screen. Monitoring screens, yeah, and so you don't have to, you know, use the flip out screen to do solo take like this. Okay, now let me stop the the camera right now. It's recording me. Do stop. Press that red button. Hi, my name is Trevor Chow. Uh, I'm a time lapse nut. If you think this video is valuable for you, please consider subscribing to my channel, and don't forget to check out the playlist. There are a lot of things that I uh, really want to do with uh, my app. The Panasonic app is use this to control the camera remotely. I just you can see before, right? I just use uh, the record button to operate the camera when I'm sitting. Right now, the camera is like uh, two meters away from me, uh, so I don't have to go back and forth to the camera to record. Okay, so if I do headshot like this. And I got a lot of a list to go through and go record, stop record button easily. Okay, so every time when I have to go to the, 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 the camera behind the camera, I just use the app. Okay, use the app right there to control what I have to control. So I talk to you guys, see how I'm looking good, see recording. Yeah, so, so that's what you do. You just use this okay, to record yourself. Perfectly, okay, but also You can use this to operate anything in the camera So let me show you. Let me go. Okay, you gotta rest off first before you can operate anything, okay? Okay, so you can Control the shutter speed So if I want to darken um, my exposure right now, if I want to darken it See, I'm, I'm getting darker so you, can, you can't see me anymore, okay, because I'm darkening. Okay, let me go back so you can see me more. Okay, I'm shooting F, F2.8. Okay, so that's the, the ap ap aperture. So the lens, I can see, like that, right? Closing and opening, that's the aperture. 
uh, photo angle. I don't I don't use it. So I'll keep it that because uh, the ISO. Let's go back. Let's go back. Fix that. Around there. The ISO right there. Click on it, and you can change the ISO. So it might be really brighter. I just increase the ISO. Okay, 6400. Now I'm really bright. Sorry guys, I'm going to move back to 400. I'm in the indoor. Okay. So right now you can actually control every exposure of the camera that you need to, even white balance. Okay. Go there, the arrow go down. White balance you can't control yet, but uh, when I you can change your white balance as well, but you have to uh, stop the recording, okay? Uh, but that's what you do. You use this to monitor your, um, your, your camera settings. So basically, your ISO and the aperture to make it brighter or darker. And that's you know, a good thing, right? Also, since Pan, most of Panasonic's camera are notorious for autofocus, to the background right so I, I when I do this I use the the uh, the app to manual focus okay I switch to manual focus in the camera first then I use the app to point to myself like that okay like that's myself then I press record so let me do that again stop record now, point to myself, right there, I'm in focus, bang, then I press record. It's now recording me. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's how you nail focus every single time. So it doesn't matter where you are, because uh, right now I have the, the setup like this, so it's easy for my microphone and all that stuff. But you can certainly monitor your, yourself like this, from anywhere yeah, within the you know, range of your camera <laughs> the lens of your camera okay but you basically you can monitor every, everything that that is the in in the camera when you use this okay make sure you do the press the record okay you don't want to do the full take and uh and found out that yeah you're not recording so make sure you do press make sure you double check okay it's recording me good Make sure the seconds is, is on, then you know it's good, then you can start talking, okay? Otherwise, you do the take and say, oh no, I haven't pressed the record yet. So that's a problem, okay? Make sure you check in the camera, yep, all good, then you start talking to the, the lens, the camera, okay? Okay, right now, I have that going in, looking down, and see my exposure and all that stuff, still good. Okay. The other thing that I really want to do with the the app is using as a thumbnail. Okay, use the trigger to do the thumbnail. <laughs> That's right. I do thumbnail with this with the camera. So instead of me using using the timer, you can do that as well. But yeah, you know, it's easier since this is you can operate remotely, right? Remotely, you you can actually use this as a remote trigger okay let me stop the recording and do a funny face for you <laughs> my thumbnail okay let me stop the recording okay now to set the auto focus there right, right now it's in menu focus right there right switch back to auto focus single point Middle is continuous overall focus, manual focus. To put into single point, auto focus, and let's see how we go from there. Still connect. Now it's in auto focus mode, and I can trigger the shutter speed. But right now it's in movie mode, right? Sorry, it's in movie mode. That's why I couldn't do it. I couldn't do a uh, capture. Let me switch it back. Sorry, it's in movie mode. When it's in movie mode, you can't use the, the camera to take photos, <laughs> of course. 
how soon will it wait? Let me, let me change that. On top of your camera, there's a aim button, menu, but I'll set it to C3 to do thumbnail. You've seen another video that I did uh, to see how I set it up, how I set up the GH4. So right now, right now, it's in photo mode, okay? So, we go on to that. Speaking of myself, now this one is not grayed out, right? The uh, camera right there is not grayed out. So I'm going to go to that. Hi. Okay, so you just do a like, big smile, thumbnail smile. Hey. Bang. Okay, do another game. It's going to be very dark because they haven't set up the anything yet. So let me change that. Change the setting first. <laughs> Shutter speed, f2.8. Shutter speed, 125. Now ISO, got to increase the ISO. To 800, it's always 800. Yeah, 800, I mean, good. Uh, white balance. I mean, Shay. Good to go. Now, to big, big small. And also, I'm on a timer <laughs> as well. So I've got to do a lot of settings. You want uh, to catch it straight away, so I'm on a timer. Right now, I'm on a timer. So I go back to that single point, and I'm good to go. Okay. That's my setting, like that, tripod. Back to here. Hi. Catcher, hey, Boom. Got a shot. Focus. Okay, you get the idea, right? So, one more time. Snap happy. So this is how you do self self portraiture yeah, as well using the app. Yeah, I'm back with the, my main camera. Uh, yeah, to do talking head. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy that. Yeah, just a uh, raw, unedited. Uh, that's how you do it. Yeah. Instead of me doing the perfect shot for you guys, the multiple camera, I will show you do with just one camera. That's the more realistic, right? See, I have my notes, so I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So there's a few extra settings in the camera that you. You can play around with, okay? Okay, I'm recording. I can't show, can't show you, uh, but there's a lot of things you can play with, okay? Uh, you can uh, geotag. Most of these functions uh, are useful, but I hardly use it. I only use this as a as a remote trigger and uh, yeah, record thumbnail, okay? I don't do there's more things I can do in here in the app, but I only use those two main functions for me. Okay. You can geotag. I'll do a, a, a when I'm done with this. I'll do a B roll so you can know what I'm talking about. You can geotagging uh, in the app. So if you have a lot of photo, you go out uh, in in your city and your camera doesn't have uh, GPS location. Uh, that's what you do. You can do that in the app. So you every photo you to, you take gonna be geotag. So GPS location of each photo. But there's the other way you can do it in Lightroom. Okay, it's more more efficient. <laughs> you just take the uh, the one shot with your 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 phone. 
of that location and just tag whatever you have to tag. Make sure your time code is you know, in a structure the same settings <laughs> as your phone in your camera and it should be fine. Yeah? There's other ways but uh, just uh, this is another way Panasonic can help you uh, get the photo geotag. Right, right now I'm use, not using a uh, manual focus is is uh, eye and eye and face detection. Okay, so you might be see that it's not wobbling. Hopefully it doesn't haven't changed back yet to the other settings. <laughs> so I see how it goes. If it uh, go bad or not, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't monitored this yet, okay? but uh, it's on full on raw, so you guys know. Uh, yeah, how to operate the camera properly. <laughs> but I will highly use this kind of settings, okay? Manual focus, use the app, bang, nail focus every single time. You can upload a small file, okay? Small file to the net. And uh, yeah, yeah, and that's uh that's a those function I highly use. So don't you can play around with it, but yeah. For me main function is remote control like this this kind of settings where I'm probably far away hopefully it doesn't focus my hand focus my face finger cross it's auto focus test right? it's, a, it's an attracting my hit onto my face that I don't know <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert Chow. Uh, I'm a time lapse nut. If you think this video is valuable for you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to check out the playlist. Uh, there's a lot of content that I've on my channel that you can watch, especially the if you are a Panasonic user. Consider subscribing to my channel, and I'll make content like this, similar content like this for you guys. Okay, to help you guys become a better content creator on YouTube.